got a new pottery wheel. It took three months to get here. Um, because of COVID, I think everybody took up pottery and they're hard to get. So um, I decided to go with the speedball just because it was under $1,000. Uh, I was looking at it a few years ago and it was a lot cheaper, but you know, everything is going up in price lately. So anyway, I wanted to do an unboxing because I noticed on YouTube there are no reviews really of this pottery wheel. So I was going to do an unboxing, put it together, um, show you how that goes, and let you know whether I like it or not. So anyway, it came in this big huge box via UPS, so I'm hoping it's not all busted up and it works. directions on how to put the legs on on this little paper here. So that'll probably be my next step. Registration card, owner's manual. Some more directions on how to put it all together. Alright, so it also came with the splash pan. Got some Allen screw screws right here. So it's these top two you have to stick all the way up. Okay, so on the inside here, let me see. All right, right up under here, you probably can't see them. There's two holes right there. So I need to line up these two holes line up these two holes with the two holes right here and then put the screws back there okay got that one this one here all right so just turn them in as tight as you can by hand and then we can get the allen wrench on them Okay, so there's that one. 
All right, so I'm gonna do the other two and then I'll get back to you. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is um, put the bat pins in. So there's a little hole, two holes on the top of the head here. Got the bat pins. Okay, so we're gonna do this um, Allen wrench does not fit into that. So you have to get one that fits. So I'll be right back. Okay, so this is actually a Torx will fit in this. Uh, it's T30 if you need to get one of those. So um, that's going to go down through the top. Okay, take two on this. I figured out it's best to just hold the um, hold this in your fingers like that and then turn from the top because there's no way you're going to be able to do it. So if you just turn it, turn it down tight and then take your um, Torx bit. Just tighten that up. Snug. Right there. All right, now I'm going to do the other side. So just hold that between your fingers there and try to line it up. Alright, the next thing is the splash pan. You can tell I'm following the directions, right? On the splash pan, the big part apparently goes in this, this direction. And the smaller, shorter part goes on this side. So, That's that. It sits up pretty high. I might have to have it up on some blocks of wood. I think I can take those out. Should still be level. I need to do a little adjusting on that because it's not sitting exactly level. So let me go get a wrench so I can adjust that. Okay. So if you look here, there's two bolts. You have to loosen this one up and then you can screw this one out. Like turn this part out and then you can tighten that back up. <clears throat> so. I'm gonna put this back, set it back up right, and then see if it's level again. Okay, so I'm getting close. I'm gonna keep turning this out some more. And it's getting close. All right, right there it is. So then um, that other bolt, just tighten that one back up. The top one. there. See it's level now. All right so something else you want to check is your level side to side and you'll see that I'm a little bit off side to side. Um, so I'm going to raise up the left side a little bit to get that side level. So I'll be right back. Okay so I got the wheel level that way and also going across this way. So gotta play around with that a little bit. I don't know if that's necessary. It doesn't really say anything about in the directions about getting it level, but it seems like that would be a good thing to do. So of course I didn't read the directions word for word, so so a couple of things I noticed. Um my wheel head is a lot bigger. I had another Potter wheel. It was a, a Scut Prodigy. Um, and my bats would fit on it. They were the, the wheel head was the same size as my bats. 
I think are 12 inch, but this has a 14 inch um, wheel head, 14 and a little over 14. And then the pins, like from center to center, is 10 inches. So it's 10 inches from the center of these two pegs here. So I think my bats will still work, my old ones. Um, but also, <clears throat> you know, with these, have the new one. All right, I'm gonna get a piece of clay ready and we'll see if we can throw it. Okay, the moment of truth. Ooh. Kinda, um, let's see if I can throw something. It's been a few months. I don't. Th I think it's been six months since I've thrown anything. Um, but anyway.
I hope this video helped you uh, make a decision about what powdery wheel if you're looking at maybe buying a speedball um, based on my overall first impression uh, it's pretty good I like it so um, can't say about the durability of it but um, that said um, just looking it over it looks like it's something that if you're kind of a do-it-yourself or you can fix things on it pretty easily uh, it's not doesn't look too complicated so um, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll be making more videos of me making pottery hopefully all right thanks for watching